Well, I probably should not be doing this at freaking 1.44 in the morning, but I just finished streaming my most recent episode of my Pokemon Diamond 6 team stream, and I decided to do this. I've been thinking about this the last few days, and actually last, like, few months, but I haven't got around to doing it until just now, of course. Everyone and their mother, like, on my server wants to play MTM2 now lately, and of course it's getting kind of annoying that I have to literally walk them through hand by hand with fucking like baby steps by and large to show them how to do it. So this video I'm going to actually install MTM2 on my Alienware. The 100% way for this to work, that works from Windows 10 more specifically. So if you're all having trouble, watch this. And if you're still having trouble then I really don't know why because this is how you're supposed to do it. So, this is going to be a long process because I got to not only get MTM2, but you got to do all the patches, the community patches, and a whole bunch of crap. So, first things first, we head over to MTM2.com. Now, I think it was, no, 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 wrong site. I think it was MTMG where you could find the game itself. It's been a while since I last did this. Let's see, downloads. Uh, I'm still looking. There's the community patch and all, but that's not for the game itself. Where the fuck is it? Up, oh, stupid me. Here we go. Over here. All right. So, God damn it. Not see the audio. Come on, here we go. Where are you? Here we go. All right. So now, it's downloading MTM2 itself. Okay. Now that it's done, open it up. Now, gotta wait for it to open up. Oh, come on. Don't be like this for me. Please don't do this to me. You gotta start loading. Am I seriously gonna have to go into downloads? Fucking bullshit. Was it really that complicated just to load? I mean, seriously, couldn't you have just loaded like that? Why was it such a dick? Alright. Now. Here is the folders, how they are on the disk. If you had a disk. So, right now, we're gonna go... Um... Yeah, extract it all right here in the downloads for right now. Now, of course, it's going to take a little bit to download everything. Oh, my God. Okay, now that's finally done extra extracted. Now we go in it. Now, before you install it, if you have Windows 10 specifically, you need to go to setup. Here we go. Right click properties. Go over to compatibility. And change it to. I mean, turn on compatibility mode. And set it to Windows XP Service Pack Free. That's the only way it will work. It will not work for Windows 10 other, any other way. So you have to do that. Now we got to load it up. And before I play, you might hear Army Armstrong's really loud voice. So sorry if that's really loud. This is Army Armstrong. Are you ready for Monster Truck Madness 2? All right, now you load up, hit install, accept the TOS, and this. Now, when I installed it, I changed it to MTM2 and got rid of the Microsoft Games logo. But for right now, we'll just leave it as is by default, so this will apply to everyone. So let's keep this as is for right now. And, of course, the folder doesn't exist yet, so you can make it like there. And you want to do complete. The complete install. Especially since you only need disk. And there it goes. Installed. Our Mion Strikes are talking a bit. You can add desktop, but I'm not going to bother. Desktop short... I mean, de desktop shortcut, I mean. Let's get racing with Monster Truck Madness 2. All right, now we're going to play. Make sure it even loads. Now, of course, it's not going to work properly at first because I can't display properly because we got to do the community patch and all, as you see right here. Got to keep hitting escape to get to the main menu. I got to do a couple things before I can get really playing. All right, mute the sound because that's really bad. All right, turn off. Just keep everything mute for right now. All right, now. Got to go into game. Turn off all of this. And skip start screen. I'll help you out. You can. I always turn off the chat, but I'll leave that all to you. Turn default opponents off to zero if you don't want to see any um peep, other trucks. If you're doing like videos series, possibly. Go into graphics. 
We're gonna we'll deal with this later, but automatically enter for full screen, turn that off by default. Alright, now we're gonna leave for right now. Alright, next. We need to patch the game. So get the fold means thing back up. Now we gotta go over to MTMG, which has all the links and stuff that we need. Go down to you to think it was utilities. We got here we go. MTM2 patch. So we need this next. You gotta do this all in order too. You gotta follow the video exactly how I'm doing it. This will patch the game. As here we go. Now the game's been patched. Now you're going to need both. Let's see, where's that? You're gonna need first pod any, which is the program to pod the stuff in, which we'll get right now to take care of this. Now we gotta go to the um, MTM2 folder. So, fuck, where's my, here we go, OS, computer 86, Microsoft games, Monster Truck Madness 2. Now you need to put it into here. Yes, permission. Shouldn't take so long, it's a very small file. All right, now, you're going to need fix more 4pod This is crucial. You need this in order to get some more fixes in it. It's not debatable. You have to have this. So now, once you get that, you put it in the MTM2 folder. All right, now, you go into pod any. This is how you get the trucks and tracks into the game. You go down, turn this off, and you pod fix more four. This is very crucial fix that you need for the game. Now let's go try and load the game up to make sure it works. All right, there we go. The game's loaded up. With that fix more four, now you can do other trucks and stuff and other tracks, more pods you can do. And also, set up right here, I'll show you the sends I do for the MTWS series for the trucks on intermediate and 800 transfer gear and everything else set to medium. All right, so now that's out of the way. Now... We gotta go get the community patch. Actually, no. Next, we're gonna get Nglide. This program is needed for um to get the um game display at full screen. Which, if you're gonna film with Fraps, you need it to play. It, it won't record on full screen unless you I mean it won't record on Fraps if you use Fraps unless it's in full screen. So you need Nglide for that to work. All right, now it's installed. We gotta go. Load up the, load it up. Okay, it's gonna be a deck. I see. And glide. Here we go. All right. Now you gotta follow the sends on this picture. As much as you can. Wow, seven. Geez, 4K already. Holy crap! But we're not doing that. Here we go. 1080, 1920 by 1080. That option doesn't appear for me, so I'll fit the screen. Refresh rate 60 hertz. We'll stick with that. If there's any, like, better options, just stick with what they're showing on the screen. Just stick with this. Just to be safe. Yeah, turn that off, too, because that's probably annoying. All right, apply. Now, the game's configuration will... Now, that will display the game properly. Now, you need the patches. So, here's the community patch. This is the updated one, the 95 megabyte one. Okay, now it's done installed. I mean, downloading. Open it up. All right, now we gotta go over to MTM2 folder, and you need to drag everything over here. This will replace everything on here. You should probably back up, but I've had no problem doing this a couple times for people, so you shouldn't have to back up. So this will replace every one of these folders, right? Ops things in here, and you have to say yes to everything. Continue for everything. And that's it. That's pretty much it. It's now fully set, and now you can play this. But I guess since I'm right here, I guess I'll show you how to put on tracks, I mean, custom tracks and trucks to make sure it works. All right. So we'll go over and to truck folder, and we'll download the 10th anniversary MTWS truck. And we'll go over to 2018 tracks. Well, trucks still. Come on. I gotta go over to 2018 again. And we'll download my Houston, tr and I mean my 2018 Houston track. Now, 
you got to open them up. Um, here we go. Open both up. All right. Now you take the pod for the MTWS truck. And now we'll get the 2018 Houston event. Get that down here. Yeah, continue. I don't know why you got to keep asking for permission. All right. Close these off. Now you got to go in and pot them. And just so you all know, especially for my tracks, there very likely will be conflicts with like other tracks and stuff. So honestly, you should just pod one track at a time. Especially my tracks. They're going to conflict with the obstacles. So only have one track at a time. And always have Fix More 4 on. And you got to have the pods that you're on podding into the game. So if, like if you t get rid of if you no longer have Houston, you have to have it unchecked here or won't or it'll fuck up the game. And likewise, if you do have Houston and you're trying to load it up, you got to repot and make sure everything's there. All right, so now let's do that. Let's reload the game. All right, let's go see. There we go. There's MTWS. Now let's go find the MTWS truck. Here, here we go. There we go. There's the 10th anniversary truck. Here's Houston. I don't know why it's showing Freestyle Part 2. And here we go. You're now driving on the MTWS 2018 Houston event. Nice air that was, too. So, yeah. That's how you get MTM2 set up on your computer for Windows 10. So, you can finally, um, like, drive my trucks and our tracks and maybe make your own stuff, too. So, yeah. I hope this tutorial was very nice for you all. Now, if you excuse me, I gotta head to bed.